Okay, so so far we have multiplied um, hundreds by numbers in the in the te ones and tens place, but now we're going to multiply by a number with numbers in the hundreds place. And most of our steps are the same. We're just adding maybe one or two more. So step one is multiply by the number. <coughs> in the ones place. In this case, it's this number right here, the two. Okay? Now, like I said, when we were, even when we were multiplying um, three digits by only one number on the bottom, you know how we said it was like our broken windshield wiper. It only goes this way. So I'm going to go 2 plus 8 is 16. So I put my 6 down here and my 1 up here. 2 times 3, but I have this 1 up here. So is it 2 times 4? What is it? You do 2 times 3, which equals 6, and then since the 1 is up here, you plus it by 1. Yeah, we add this number up here. So 2 times 3 is 6, plus 1 is 7. And then we go 2 times 4. See, so we're moving our say across the 1s, 10s, 100s. 2 times 4 is 8. Okay, now we have step two. Step two is put a zero below in the ones place. It holds our place, okay, because now we're going to start multiplying by a number in the tens place. So we don't want anything in the ones because we're multiplying by tens. And that brings us to step number three. Multiply by the number in the tens place. Okay. So in this case, it's going to be this 4 right here. And I'm going to cross out this 1. Just boom. Because I don't need it anymore. Okay? I'm not going to add it up, this 1, because that was when we were multiplying by the 1s. I don't want to erase it because if I have to go back and I have to fix it because I made a mistake, I want us to know there was a 1 there. Okay? I don't want us to um, forget that that 1 was there. So 4 times 8 is 32. I'm going to put my 2 down here in my tens place because I'm multiplying by tens and put my 3 up here. 4 times 3 is 12 plus 3 is 15. Put my 5 right here, my 1 up here. 4 times 4 is 16 plus 1 is 17. Okay. Now this is where it gets different. This is where we change speed a little from what we did when we were only multiplying by a number with two digits. We are going to put two zeros now. <coughs> put two zeros in the ones and tens place below. Oops. Make it into a nice B. Sorry about that. B low. Okay? And what that means is I have to put one right here and I have to put one right here because now I'm multiplying by hundreds next and I don't need I don't want to start putting numbers in my ones and tens because I'm multiplying by hundreds. So this one going in the ones and tens place holds this place. Holds the place. So I'm, I know they're all going to be lined up in the end. Okay, they're all gonna be lined up in the end. Okay. So I'm gonna go back. Let's go ahead and use let's just use this black. And I'm going to use this one right here. And I am going to multiply by the number in the 
hundreds place. Okay. Now we do it just like we do with our ones and our tens, but we start with the number of hundreds place, and like the broken windshield wiper, it goes back this way. What should I do with this one and this three? What should I do with the one and the three? Donovan. Cross them out. I don't need them. I'm not going to use them this time. Two times eight is 16. I'm Since I'm multiplying by 100, I'm going to keep my 100 down here. Two times eight is 16, so I start by writing my number in my hundreds place. Put my one up here. Two times three is six plus one, the not crossed out number, is seven. So I put my seven right here. And I go on. Two times four is eight plus nothing up here. Okay. And I'm not done yet. Who thinks they can tell me what I've, I've done? All these steps, what do I do now? You have to add them all up. Add them all up. Add them all up. Boom. So put my plus sign and my equal sign. Six plus zero plus zero is what? Six. Seven plus two plus zero is? Nine. Bigger numbers. Eight plus three plus six is what? Nine. Nineteen. Yes. So eight plus five plus six is nineteen. One plus seven plus seven is what? One plus one plus eight is what? So, 438 times 242 is 105,996. Now, these first ones, before we learned about how to do steps one, two, three, but then we didn't, we have, now we have to put two zeros in here when we start multiplying by our hundreds place. And just like before, we add them all up. 